Hallelujah. Praise the one who set me free. Hallelujah. That has lost his grip on me. He has broken every chain. There's salvation in God's name. Jesus Christ, my living hope. Jesus Christ, my living hope. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the one who set me free. Hallelujah. Sin has lost its grip on me. He has broken every chain. There's salvation in his name. Jesus Christ, my living hope. Jesus Christ, my living hope. Hallelujah. Praise the one who set me free. Hallelujah. That has lost his grip on me. He has broken every chain. There's salvation in his name. Jesus Christ, my living hope. Jesus Christ, my living hope. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the one who set me free. Hallelujah. Sin has lost his grip on me. He has broken every chain. There's salvation in his name. Jesus Christ, my living hope. 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 Hallelujah. Praise the one who set me free. Hallelujah. Sin has lost his grip on me. God has broken every chain. There's salvation in God's name. Jesus Christ, my living hope. Jesus Christ, my living hope. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, Jesus Christ has set me free. Hallelujah. Death has lost his grip on me. He has broken every chain. There's salvation in God's name. Jesus Christ is my living hope. Jesus Christ is my living hope. One more time. Hallelujah. That has lost his grip on me. Hallelujah. Praise the one who set me free. He has broken every chain. There's salvation in God's name. Jesus Christ is my living hope. Jesus Christ is my living hope. Jesus Christ, my living hope. Jesus Christ, it's my living hope. Greetings, everybody. Happy Sunday and happy Mother's Day. So, guys, the thing is, it's not like we forget Mother's Day, you know, but it's just that they celebrate Mother's Day differently, different months. In different countries, like in different regions. We actually did Mother's Day already here in Thailand. So when I saw Mother's Day today, I was like, huh? Okay, am I mixed up? And then I noticed that it's some particular people who are just doing the Mother's Day. But anyways, I kind of celebrate my mom every day because I really, really love her. I do from the bottom of my heart. So of course, I have to do my DPTV with my mother. <laughs> That's just to celebrate her. But tribute to I celebrate her every day because she's an amazing person. So welcome, everybody. It's your favorite program, A Chapter A Day, a.k.a. A Card for short. On here, we get to create an audio Bible, and in the process, we also get to study the Word of God today. Okay? So right now, we are getting on. It's Psalm 48. And Psalm 48 has 14 verses. Psalms 48, 14 verses. So let's get ready 
we hand over the session to God and then we get started with what we have for today. Guys, are you ready? Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> Father, we thank you for this day that you've made me rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you for your goodness, for your loving kindness. We thank you for your tender mercies. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for all that you've done, you're doing, and you're still to do in our lives. We are grateful, Lord. We can't thank you enough for all the things that you get to do for us. We really, really do appreciate you from the bottom of our hearts. Lord, we are forever grateful to you. We're forever grateful for the cross that you came to seek and save the lost. We are Totally and completely grateful. We can't thank you enough for all the amazing things you've done in our lives. You're doing and you're still to do. You're a faithful father. You're a God who never fails. You never sleep nor slumber. Thank you for always being an awesome father. Thank you for always loving us the way you do. We can truly, truly thank you enough. We pray, oh God, we know that every single time we come to your table to dine and sup with you, it's always a beautiful time, it's always spectacular, and we always never go back the same. There is always a transformation, a change, an increase, an impact, and all good things that get to happen when someone has an encounter with you. That's what we always get. So Lord, we've come again once more in your presence to receive and be blessed and be transformed. We know that's exactly going to be what will happen here today. And for every single person that has been ordained and purposed to be and destined to be a part of this chapter, they will be here. Nothing is going to stop them. No one is going to stop them. Every plan of the enemy be thwarted, be nullified, be rendered null and void. That every single person who is supposed to be here, every single person who is supposed to stumble upon this video would definitely make themselves to get here. Thank you, Lord God, because we know you're always here and answer. Increase while I decrease, so it's going to be you and you alone that will be seen, felt, and heard throughout this edition of a chapter a day. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering us. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and there, amen. Thank you, guys. Welcome once again. Let's get right on with what we have for today. Birthday people. The first person is Mam Utagazita. Mam Utagazita, we actually, um, no, she went to the same school with my kid sister. She was my kid sister's classmate, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think so. She was my kid sister's um, schoolmate and classmate, and we later on became good friends, disconnected, and social media helped us connect again. And of course, she's one of those persons that supports me in the things I do. I'm really grateful for that. God bless you. Mr. Jerry Besson Jr. is also one of those persons that I got to meet on social media. Mam Zita, we've met physically. Mr. Um, Jerry Benson, we've not met physically yet. We actually got to meet on social media. And he has also been one of those persons that gets to support me on my jobs and the things I do. The next person is Mam Pamela L'Esperance. Mam Pamela L'Esperance is also one of those amazing people that I met on social media. You know, they're these really, really nice people you meet. And then when you meet them, you just know you have to connect with them like that. And then, because that's how they end up getting into my birthday book. If you might have connected with me, but you've not gotten into my birthday book because we've not had a conversation. Like, I'm supposed to be able to have a conversation with you until we get to the point that I ask you your birthday. Sometimes it's weird because some people, I ask their birthday almost immediately. Some people we might get to have like two or three conversations before I get to ask for your birthday. But some of these people, it was like almost instantaneously. Like as soon as we got talking, I was just like, when is your birthday again? And then they gave me and then I just noted it in my birthday book. And once your birthday enters my birthday book, I can never forget it. God be my helper because I look at this book like every single day. Except I've got to so crazy busy. But the fact that I do a chapter a day, I can never forget. Never, ever. Never, ever. So I still do even um, in arrears. I, I do people happy birthday in arrears. When I come, whenever I come, no matter how busy I get, and then I come back and I get to this book, I get to do people happy birthday in arrears. So happy birthday to you, Mr. Jerry Besson Jr. Happy birthday to you, um, Bishop Daniel Jesus Pet. Jesuspect. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but happy birthday to you. I got to know him when we joined a certain prayer group. I don't know if it was a prayer group or it was a Bible study group. That's where I knew him. He loves God. He loves to talk the word of God, to preach the word of God. And he also loves to learn the word of God. 
that's how we connected i told you guys that anyone it's so easy to connect with me especially if you love god you're serving god and you want to do the things of god you know you just want to do kingdom purpose it's easier for us to become friends like that because i i need people around me that we can easily relate we can easily connect so mom um the last but not the least is mom fanana georgette mom fanana georgette actually we went to the same secondary school together left from our secondary school together and came to the same high school together and we left from there again and went to the same university together see <laughs> it was like we're meant to just be together everywhere but later on we kind of separated we kind of um disconnected and then um uh, we reconnected again on our ex student association group she's an amazing lady she's very caring very friendly and very lovely of course and you know the thing with sekara is about the smile like god has just blessed us with this like bold bright pretty smiles that we have you can you can miss it when you see it you are either thinking this should be a secret and then when they tell you that not then you can look for another <laughs> another set but yeah secrets have this really bold bold broad, bright smile on their faces it's like god chose us and packaged us and put us that oh yeah secrets are supposed to be like this honestly speaking i'm not joking this is no joke okay Happy birthday to you mom Georgette. So, it goes again. Happy birthday to mom Utaga Zita. Happy birthday to Mr. Jerry Benson Jr. Happy birthday to mom Pamela Lesperance. Happy birthday to Bishop Daniel Jesup Pet and a very special happy birthday to mom Fonana Georgette. And uh, she is really an amazing person. So let's get on and pray for the birthday people. Like I told you today, our Bible party is taken from the book of Psalms 48 and it has 14 verses. So we're going on with that. Let's get praying for the birthday people. And after praying for the birthday people, we can now ride on to the Bible party while we are here. I know some people always just push this. I like to put this disclaimer out there. You just never know. There might be something that God is telling you through the birthday party so don't come and say oh i came here just for the bible study and then you pull the thing whoop and you take it to the like to the back you know like to the end of the stuff and then you're like okay let me just go meanwhile god might have wanted you to listen to the song that was sung today at the beginning god might have wanted you to listen to something that we're talking about someone who is probably a friend to me how we got to become friends you know it could be a technique that god is teaching you or showing you how to make friends or lose friends and it could be a technique that God is teaching you on what you can do to be able to get the right friends in your space. You know, it, it, getting the right friends and taking off the, the, the wrong ones is an intentional thing. You have to be intentional about it. You know, that's what happens. It doesn't just automatically happen. The wrong kind of people don't just automatically leave your life and then the good ones just automatically come. You have to be intentional about getting them to be in your space. When he has to be, you know, you have to be intentional. So let's pray for the birthday people. And then when we're done, we're starting up with a birthday part with a Bible party. Okay, guys, I want to be sure that this thing is on. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I just get worked up like that because I see things and it's like, are you sure this is on? Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Hallelujah, praise the one who set me free. Hallelujah, death has lost his grip on me. He has broken every chain. There's salvation in God's name. Jesus Christ, my living hope. Oh, hope, Jesus Christ, my living hope. Okay, this ain't right. What's happening? You have to be charging. This is not good, guys. This thing wants to take us out. Are you for real? My charger is acting up, guys. Hmm. <laughs> What's going on? Please, you have to work. You know that live stream is just going to go off sh right now. Hmm. 
This is not good, people. <sighs> okay. Go take over. Whatever it is you want us to do, we're just going to do that. I don't know what's happening. But I hope that this battery can take us to the time that we need it. It's on charge, but it's not charging. I don't know what that is. I don't know how that works. So let's pray. I think we're live. So let's pray. Father, we thank you for all these amazing people who are born today, O oh Lord. We thank you for keeping us safe and secure. We thank you for adding a new year to their lives. We are forever grateful. We don't take it for granted. Lord, we pray, O oh God, that you're going to do for them that which no man can do, O oh God. You're going to do beyond and be... You're going to do beyond uh, their wildest imaginations, O oh God. Father, I pray, O oh God, that you're going to do for them that which no man can do. That you're going to bless them with blessings beyond their reasonable understanding. You're going to open the windows of heaven for them and do a very special work in their lives, O oh God. Father, I pray that you cause them to be trailblazers, space setters, and wall changers in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, cause them to increase in wisdom and statue gaining favor before God and before men. Lord... Let their gifts make a way for them, causing them to stand before kings, not before mean men. Lord, that you provide for them all that they need, O oh God. You cause them to stand out and not fit in, as they continuously fulfill purpose and do that which you've called them to do, O oh God. If they get to that place where they feel overwhelmed, they feel tired, they feel like they want to back out, they want to back out, they're going to hear a cleaned out, clear voice that's going to say, This is the way, walk thou in it. They'll tread on that path, they'll not derail, and they'll stay on course to the glory of your name. They will be the ones manifesting to the groaning nation that is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. Father, use them for your glory. Lord, I pray today, O oh God, that you're going to do for them that which no man can do. You're going to answer their inner heart cries, their inner heart desires. Lord, let their path keep shining brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. I pray that your word is going to be a lamb unto their feet and a light unto their part. Thank you, King of Glory, because we know you always hear an answer. Father, we pray, O oh God, that you're going to give them all that it takes to go and conquer their world in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray, O oh God, that you're going to teach them all the strategies and techniques that it takes to get to the top and stay there permanently. Release the choices of your blessings upon their lives and rebuke every devourer. Lord, I pray, O oh God, that you're going to so cover them with your blessings and all around so much so that no weapon formed to fashion against them shall prosper. And any tongue that rises against them in judgment, you shall condemn. Lord, I pray, O oh God, that people who come in contact with them will literally rub off of the blessings because there will be an overflow. Lord, let them be a blessing in their generation and beyond. Father, I pray that you perfect all that concerns them. Give them a Psalms 126 state, a state of continuous laughter, singing, and rejoicing. Father, I pray, O oh God, that you bless their going out and coming in. Whatever the lady hands on will prosper. Wherever the tread their feet upon, you give it to them as a possession. Perfect all that concerns them and give them a Psalms 126 state. A state of rejoicing, dancing, singing, and laughter. And if you tarry to come, they'll be here same time next year. Testifying of all the awesome things you've done for them. Because this birthday is going to be their best birthday yet. Lord, I pray that you're going to open the windows of heaven and pour out the best of your blessings upon their lives. You're going to guide them. You're going to lead them in all that they do and say. The world will see your glory and your goodness through their lives, O oh God. That there will be a blessing to every person who comes up across them who comes in contact with them O oh lord father i pray O oh god that you're going to lead them on the right path you're going to cause them to do your will now and forever take preeminence O oh god because you always hear an answer lord i pray O oh god that you're going to open doors for them that no man can shut and shut every door that is not of you lord i pray that you're going to fight every every adversary at the open doors that you have for them so they'll just match in gallantly and enjoy all that you've prepared for them behind these closed doors lord i also pray oh god that you're going to do for them marvelous things oh god you're going to answer their prayers you're going to see them through you're going to show them their will for your life you're going to show them where you want them to work the path you want them to tread upon oh god and that's exactly where they're going to walk lord let money make money in their pockets blessings make blessings in their lives favor meet favor in their lives even as you clothe them with the garment of praise honor and favor in the mighty name of jesus in jesus name we pray and we seal every prayer request with the blood of jesus knowing that you're in control let whatever whoever and whatever will get them to the place where you want them to be lord i pray you divinely connect them to those people and those things anyone that is going to cause them to stagnate or retrogress i pray that you divinely disconnect them from such people in jesus name i pray lord take all the glory for now and forevermore 
We seal every prayer request with the blood of Jesus. Knowing that you've done it already, we say thank you, Lord. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. But I sing the amen. 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 Let it be so. Amen. 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 In their lives. Amen. As we have prayed. Amen. Let it be in their lives. Let it be so. Amen. 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 In their lives. Amen. As we have prayed. Amen. Let it be in their lives. Let it be so. Amen. 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 In their lives. Amen. As we have prayed. Amen. Let it be in the last silver prayers. Amen, 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 amen. With the blood of Jesus. Amen. Let it be so. Amen. In the lives as a prayer. God bless you all tremendously. I may fill your bands with all good things. Enlarge your coast and do for you that which no man can do. When you call, he will answer. Before you cry out, he would hear you. I always get to say I love you so very much, but God loves you way, way more. Happy birthday. Have a blast, people. Mwah. Happy birthday. So let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's get the Bible party started. Get the Bible party started. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Who's with me? Who's with me? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> It's sound 48, guys. The party is over. I think the party was just for one day. But when I listened to it and I was editing it, it wasn't that loud. Maybe it was just me, but it wasn't that loud. So I'm really grateful to God for the microphone. My, when my microphone got bad, I was really relaxed. I was really like, I don't want to buy a new one. I'm tired. I'm just, oh, I'm grateful. So some of these things, when God tells you to go get them, you begin to feel like, wow, but God, this thing is not so serious. I'm okay. Yesterday, I was so, so, I was so stressed. I was so stressed. The noise was like it was in my ears. Like, I told you guys that my room was literally shaking. That's how much the sound was vibrating. That's how much frequency that noise carried. So much so that my room could be literally vibrating, like you can imagine. And if the microphone was not there, I'm not sure I would have been able to do a chapter a day in the first place. So I kind of listened to the audio Bible. It wasn't that serious. It wasn't as serious as I was getting it though. So I mean, I mean that microphone really worked. I'm grateful to God for that. I'm really, really grateful to God for that. I don't take it for granted. So guys, let's start. So if you're a content creator and you want to get some of those things, please don't hesitate to get them. You, you might think you don't need them, but I assure you, I can assure you, I can promise you there will just be a time that you desperately need those things. I mean, I told you guys just this week, it's like God has been teaching me to really appreciate the little things that I have that I'm using to do a chapter a day with. The other day I was appreciating you guys. I was telling you guys how I was appreciating my ring light. I've never really like, if you notice today, my shadow is not there, right? When my shadow is not there, it means that it's, it's not just my ring light. You know, it's not just light from some other place and then my ring light. This one means that my light is really on. And you will not believe that that light had no problem. Oh yeah, it had no problem. They came and tried different bulbs and they were thinking of what was going on with the thing. And then all of a sudden they put a bulb that was not mine. It worked. And then they were telling me to buy a new one. I'm like, I already bought a new one. I cannot buy a new one again. And they kept going on and on and on. And then I'm like, let them just try the new one again. So he removed his own bulb that he put there and tried mine. Boom, it worked. Like... I don't know what was happening. So all the times that I wasn't having lights in my room, it was actually working. But I think there was just supposed to be a spark from some other bulb or something. I don't know. Whatever it was. Like, but it wasn't funny. It really wasn't funny. So let's get the Bible party started. Are you guys ready? Ready or not, here I come. So yeah, I'm beginning to appreciate all these little things that God gets me to buy for my content creation. Especially I, because I've been creating content for a long time before even starting to do a chapter a day. So guys, let's go. Are you ready? Psalm 48. A song and psalm for the sons of Korah. 
Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in the mountain of his holiness. Beautiful for situation, the joy of the whole world is Mount Zion on the sides of the north, the city of the great king. God is known in his palaces for a refuge. For lo, the kings were assembled. They passed by together. They saw it and so they marveled. They were troubled and hasted away. Fear took hold upon them there and pain as of a woman in travail. Thou breakest the ships of Tashish with an east wind. As we have heard, so have we seen in the city of the Lord of hosts, in the city of our God, God will establish it forever. Selah. We have thought of thy loving kindness of God in the midst of thy temple. According to thy name, O God, so is thy praise unto the urns of the earth. Thy right hand is full of righteousness. Let Mount Zion rejoice. Let the daughters of Judah be glad because of thy judgments. Walk about Zion and go round about her. Tell the towers thereof. Mark ye well her buck walls. Consider her palaces that ye may tell it to the generation following. For this God is our God forever and ever. He will be our guide even unto death. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. What did you learn? What did you learn? What did you learn? Welcome back, Minister Mag. <laughs> we missed you so much. Great is the Lord, and it's greatly to be praised. In the city of our God, in the mountain of His holiness, Beautiful for situation, the joy of the whole world is Mount Zion, now the city, city of the great king. It's Mount Zion, standing on the mountain, city of the great king. Great is the Lord, and it's greatly to the praise. In the city of our God, in the mountain of his holiness, the joy of the whole earth is Mount Zion, side on the modern city of the great king. Is Mount Zion, the modern city of the great king. Oh, yeah. Welcome back, Minister Ma. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my. Thank God. We'll meet you on the chapter again like, like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so how was your trip? Oh, oh, I saw that I didn't have much fun yesterday. There's a place in the village where people go and get connection. Oh really? The day I went there, I see there I do not have somebody else was too than they had, and I know why. So I just I know. <laughs> I know. Oh, I can imagine. Oh my God! So how much? It went so well, Princess. It went so well. And uh, this afternoon, as I came back like this, I had to minister, you know, because I didn't minister yesterday. And the ministration topic for this week was oh, yeah. intimacy with God. And, uh, and I think that I'm going to maybe just share it with you so you can share it with your viewers. Frankly speaking, all what you're saying, all what you're doing, it's all as a result of intimacy. I forgot to mm -hmm. talk to you about buying for things until you hear, you listen and you obey. Wow. Then after wow. you come and see that back, then you'll be like, hey, Papa, thank you. I mean, that's what you were just talking about now. Yeah, that's true. And you know how I struggled? I was stubborn. I, I was know. With, with, I your ring light. Light. with your ring light. No, I am very ring light and I'm learning lessons. This is the small community. I don't think I can go off of this, but I'm just praying God to help me. <laughs> We all are praying that prayer, my dear. Like sometimes you think you've really gotten it. Like sometimes you make that promise, Oh Lord, this time I will not I will not miss it again. Once you tell me, boom, I'm there. And then he tells you something and then you're like, God, hmm. Hmm. And then you he would make you the good thing about our own is that I don't know whether people pray that prayer, but I pray it all the time. I'm like, God, if I'm supposed to make a mistake, if I'm supposed to derail, Lord, hit my head so hard, I'll get back on track. So I'm in Jonah's WhatsApp group. Papa, go, you go, fuck me, my do the thing. I, I don't want you to just let me go and say, okay, have your way. Mm -mm. I want to be like Jesus. 
just that will say that thing. If this cup will not pass for me, let not my will but yours be done. That's what I want. I don't. It means that if Jesus said that, it means that God's will could pass. Like the cup could pass from him. If he really did not want it, the cup could pass from him. But he says, if this cup will not pass, let not my will but yours be done. So there's a possibility that he could still have his way. He could still have his will, do his own will. And it would, it would happen. God would do something else somehow. You know, they, they keep saying there's a place somewhere in, I don't know if it's in Psalms still or it's Proverbs or somewhere, or it's Psalms of Solomon. It says he could have called 10,000 angels to destroy the world and set him free. He could have just even wiped the earth. Like, when Adam and Eve sinned, he could have just wiped them out and created a new one. He had all those possibilities, but he's not the person who just remote control people. But me, I'm giving him the authorization to remote control me like that. Yeah, because I know that his will is perfect. Look, if you put your hand on the plow, see, now you put up, he says, if you want to be my disciple, so it's not by force, if you want, then you put your hand. That's what he will remote control you. And if you don't obey now, you will see obey. You can I see you. You can see me. You will be with you. This thing is most right of yesterday. He said, go and bring the two. After you bring the two, come to the river. Let's have our conversation. <laughs> me, I went and bring the two and come by the school to look for hot spots. So I spent 15 minutes in the school and they don't have hot spots. By the time I got to the river, I was already seven o'clock. Now we had the conversation, no that but we had to hear it because women women come to the stream today. Oh yeah. And it's even that I understood why he was putting it that way. As I was going back and because he passed through the school, I saw people all there like that on that hot spot there. One person was even living on that same tree, same place where I was standing. They were enjoying, they were conversing anyhow. I look at my own I just understand. I say Papa God fear, Papa God respect, Papa God break you. I did sorry. So I'm going to mingle, but I cannot use data. No network, no nothing. Turn around anyhow around that area, nothing for me. Until my, my guy will open to your phone. It is the spot where everybody comes to under that tree. I will show you picture. People were there like that, me nothing. Today no, one I was part in that same place on the bike for hard network. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> See, yeah. we cannot play tricks with God. You understand? Like we, I remember one time it was raining. God had told me to go for a certain program. It was a certain program in the church. Like, and that day they actually gave me a prophecy. That was, it was something that God had said to me before, but he was emphasizing it. You know how when he says something just for emphasis sake, he would say it again through some other person or something like that. He would just confirm it. He might have told you already, but you're still like in that a little bit of doughty area. And then he would now send some other person to confirm it and send a couple of people to confirm. So I was supposed to go there and let them confirm my prophecy for me. Uh, so when I got up now, there was also, I think a party, a certain party that was supposed to happen. You know, so I, I was like, God, it's raining, so I can't go. Boom, rain stopped. I was like, wow. So I dressed up and said, I'm going to the party. I told him that I'm not going for church or the church program because it's raining. He stopped the rain. I wore my dress and said, I'm going for the party. <laughs> As I reached a junction, so I didn't waste that for. I now said in my heart that, oh Lord, I'm sorry, I'm going to church. Rain stop. In my mind, I'm like, but Clinton, can you really play games with God? So it is if you climb back now, say you're going to party, you know, go church. You rain, the way rain goes soaky for Rote, you aren't right. <laughs> That's what happened in my head. Oh. I just climbed on my back quite quiet and went to church. See, God didn't play so I can play the wheel. I didn't even know why we keep joking. <laughs> In our small heads, in our small minds, I don't know. I always thinking sometimes when God will say do this, and then you're trying to do some other thing instead of what God has told you to do. It is well, Lord help us. We are your children. We yeah. want to do the right thing. We always just want to obey you instantly, like promptly. Help us. Just help us. <laughs> help us. He told you to Friday. Go to that place and take a car from there. I'm like this other place that I scared at. In short, I'm just standing in front of my head and see a friend that will take me to that bakery. 
But to go to the place where you came out, you check, there's no bank that can go around like that. It will take me time. And it's because I did not want to check out. I was just told me from what I was tired and everything. I said, look, I'm going to stand around and check. Let me go there. My dear, the time that I spent there now, people left from there, passed past on I was like, why don't you just take a bike and go meet back there? The time that I took it, my God, every five minutes I stopped in picking people up. I just kept getting into my head. Did I tell you to stand there? Okay. You get to the village and I did it. I finally got to Mount at about 6 30 when I left at 3. It's, 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 it's a two hours journey. And I, 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 I was only I was only different as in the car, even like you. Because when I like sleep at Mount, I had to go to the village. So I, I know. Papa and Becky, let me know. Papa, I'm very sorry. Papa, we are going together. I don't know how to have an appointment, my deliver a shop shop tomorrow morning. As soon as I got to Mango, I just saw a bag that was going down to the village. And I knew that, okay, he's going to be a good God is merciful. God is very merciful. <laughs> See you now. You remember? Is that remembering oh. that was supposed to happen in front? That's why he wanted you to go early. And he was telling you to go to the place that you go early. You didn't go. Now you're about to be late. Now you're showing you what you have to do ahead. Can you imagine? <laughs> but God still loves us regardless. So he'll still come true yeah. for us. Yeah. Um, God yeah. is greatly to be praised. He's God. Some of these things that he does for us or doesn't do for us, it doesn't make him less God or more God. Some of that we're having intimacy with him doesn't make him less God or more God. Rather, we're the ones gaining. We're the ones gaining. We're the ones. We're the ones gaining. If you have intimacy with God, you're the one gaining because he will give you information beforehand. He will tell you some things that regular people cannot see, regular people cannot understand. He will tell you beforehand he will tell you some things that you can cancel them in the spirit room that they will not even show up in the physical meanwhile if you didn't have that intimacy those things will come to the physical and then you'll be struggling to fight them in the physical room which sometimes is not very easy there are some things that you can stop them in the spirit room and it doesn't happen at all in the physical it doesn't manifest in the physical but you will only be able to get those things in the spirit room when you're connected to god when you have that intimacy like we're talking about when you have that relationship, that strong relationship, that strong bond with with the one you love. You know? Yeah. You see, if you do you think that will make it easy for you? Well, you, you see, if yeah. you don't obey, yeah. you know, yeah. go into a new village, you come to a village, right, to do something. I need to know the people and all of that, right? Yeah. If I just know only the chief and all of them, how many days would I have taken to go from door to door to know people? But God, when he told me last Saturday, I need you in this village on Friday. I did not know that there was going to be a burial in that village. And it's the chief's big sister that that wow. I was going to bury. So the woman came back and I was telling the chief about the village chief. And I went to my father. The chief said, you know, go that weekend because he'll be coming here this weekend because he's going to bury his sister. So, oh my God. yesterday morning, God told me, after giving me the message, you cannot go and mingle. How would you want to uh, uh, integrate if you don't if they don't see you? So in one day, everybody saw me. Why? Because I was playing. That is what I love doing first of all, right? So when, yeah. I, when he told me if I don't go and mingle, I went on TV at bed, 10 o'clock, I was already at the palace. I was not I did not go to the other my mama where my mama was going. Uh -huh. I said, I want to work. They said, Oh, they're going to finish cooking. Which one do you want to do? I said, No, my own is to wash food. They said, just for one people we eat at 12. You will wash plates until you cry. I said, I cannot cry. I love washing plates. Because I washed like 300 plates yesterday. Because that is food. Everybody's for me. People came and were telling me, Asha. Then the chief was saying, make some of I said, no, chief, let me serve my people, your people. I said, people came and gave me drinking. Even his brother was still making like that because I was washing plates. Ah, when he had me, he was like, wow, he came and gave me drink. And another one day, his wife came and gave me another big bottle of water. People came and said, Courage, a little gentleman said, Mom, can I help you? That is how I want to know the names of people, you know, whatever the story of this child, whether it's more than one day. Oh, that is one day. God got God. that old man for you for one day. You are joking with God. <laughs> Jehovah overdue. Jehovah come back kind. You don't know. Now, joke is the joke. So, the one that is the people about me, I'm telling you. I think everything about the project. 
you are coming to do that. As you will see one day now, then you will cut your film to go. I said, if you open my mouth yesterday, the doctor will somebody. Even since I came, the children let me make an announcement like, just coming and obeying and watching plates. Yeah. Like this, because yeah. you don't yeah. want to put your plate on the person And you will say, Asha, and I will say thank you. So we are you, you are a new person. Before I want to answer, someone is only talking to my mommy about the project I come there to do. And I'm not here. Hey, I'm not here. Why do you stand up for me? We are you, we are you, we are in the village. I'm like, hey, okay. Okay, Papa. Okay. Can you imagine? That's God for you. See, we limit God. Because sometimes you'll be asking, like, God, how long will I take? It means I have to be coming to this village every single time because I have to go and look for people. I have to connect with the people. I have to negotiate with the people and all those things. No, God gathered them all. Plus, is the king's, what is the chief sister? So everybody, literally, everybody has to be there. Like, literally, everybody has to be there. You know? The Bible was carrying me from Mando to the village. It's, it's an, it's an so he also spread my, he told all his people there, all those people. Oh, did I even want to go? Oh, someone joined him. I was telling the guy sitting next to me that he likes me. I was like, hey, Papa, God. <laughs> oh, God. I can imagine. Ah. So for that community, I know people now, for the both community, because these people are both people, they don't even know me. I said, they told me all their history yesterday. Oh, wow. It's recent. I said, oh, God, so you make me carry the person I was going for, for us to fellowship, for him to give me all kinds of instructions. No, no, ten yeah. things were done at the river. He said, go and mingle. And that's why he called. Like, what are the other kind of place you don't know? He said, no, you go and serve. I know that I like washing pizza. So I just went me to my place. Whenever all the other guys are making their young guys stuff like that. Now, now, me is plates. Popular, popular village girls. <laughs> hey, look at champions. Oh, oh, my God. God. That's what I'm going to take over. Now. Why you don't, don't can't take, take over? Now, God is doing that with you now. They be keep looking one eye, one eye. They never see nothing. <laughs> Man, try it. The way fire go burn it. They should not even think about it. That's it. You sit there, you're doing sacrifices. You're following what the Holy Spirit is telling you. When you reach there, you start shining. They start getting angry. Hey, she just came. When did she come to this village? Is it not just yesterday? Why now? Is it that? When she came to this village, did you guys see what she was doing? Did you guys see the, the action she was taking? Did you guys see the sacrifices she was making? Do you even know where she's coming from? You think, you think she doesn't like comfort? You think she doesn't like some things that you guys think you have or you need? No, but she has made up her mind that all these vain things, she will not be connected to the vain things. She will be connected to what God wants her to get, what God wants her to do. And all these other things will be added. And when it starts getting added, no look and be jealous. Find the way, the way to get it. Connect and get the story so that you know how to also connect and get yours. No, do generation, no fit, no thing. Why? Why will never connect to you to get anything? We know if you go go get always yourself. Learn, we will not learn. Pray, we will not pray. Study the word, we will not study the word. But we want the glory. You will be so. They go, will be so. It is well. It says, God is known in her palace for a refuge. Oh, God is a refuge. God is a protector. That one, like, there's no dispute. There's no argument. I know several times when God has saved me, when God has kept me, why well, I don't dodge bullets, not like physical bullets, but bullets from people, like what people say, gossips and slander. In fact, I know how much God has kept me. Like, you know, it says, Lo, kings were assembled. They passed by together. They saw it, so they marveled. They were troubled and hasted away. <sighs> when God does some things for you, some people will actually freak out because... You know, it's it's not something that happens normally, like that happens simply. So when it happens to you, plus some people always have this thing of sizing you. They'll look at you and be like, "What be Minister Magdis Wanu? Did get work there for small primary school for every backside? Did wow work for the place here? You know that sized you up. So it's like, what 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 is going on? Like there's something we need to know what this thing is." 
Some of them will run away. Some of them will gossip. Some of them will try to look for trouble. Some of them will try to bring you down. So don't feel that because you're doing the things that God is doing to you. Because God has spoken to you perfectly. You're, you become problem immune. I lie. You. The more you have, the more valuable you are, the more en the enemy will fight you. He's only fighting my people who have value. If you don't have anything that you can kill, steal, or destroy, he doesn't need you. He needs the people that have things that he can kill, steal, and destroy. That's his work. He's not coming to fix things. He's coming to destroy them. He's coming to kill them. So you should be, you should be grateful. You should be feeling honored when the enemy is fighting you because you know that you have something that is worthy of being fought for or is worthy to, to be destroyed. So you should know how to connect with God again and hold that thing so fast that the enemy cannot steal it away from you. That's how it's supposed to be. They say, fear to come upon Sorry. Talking about despite you, even Jesus was despised by the time of the carpenter's son. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's why he said a lot of things could not happen in his hometown. A lot of things cannot happen in your like immediate space sometimes. And for a start, if, if you've not had an understanding with God, it will be very frustrating because you're like, I don't understand. These people are people who instead know me better. They should understand this thing. They should know that this thing is real. But they're the ones who will not understand them. Bible says because the people do not believe, because of their unbelief and because of their sizing of Jesus, a lot of miracles did not happen in Jesus' own town. He was going to places. That's when he said that thing that a prophet is not known in his own town. Now. He was there. Because he could not do it. He says because of their unbelief and they did not trust what he was doing, he could not do a lot of miracles in his own hometown. How sad that you people have value, that you people have gold in your town, and you people don't value it until the gold goes to another place, then some people are enjoying the gold. It, it's sad. It's, it's so sad. It's so, so sad. And that's what we do most of the times. That's how most of us will behave. You have Jesus. You have God. And you're going to people and you're going to some kinds of places to look for solutions. It's sad. Why don't you believe in the potency of the power of God? Why do you not believe in his power? It is some people have, um, they have a, 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 an idea of what God is, but they deny the power thereof. Like, it's crazy. It's just crazy. You and I know that you have to give up some things. You have to give up a lot. You know, if you want to believe in God and let him do it for you. That's that process that people are running away from. Yes, yeah. when you go to Babalawa, you go to Babalawa, they teach something you have to do. Let yeah. them deceive you. Not money. Those people who work or who say that America working, how many jobs, nine to five, blah, 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 blah. Is that not working? Is that not something you are doing? You know that will not work. Yeah. But they are working in the law knowing that he boxed us up. That's the difference. Yes. Huh? That's true. That's true. There are people who have confessed the sacrifices that they made. Some of them will have to sleep with mad people, whether it's every other week. Some of them will have to eat, whether it's how many rats. Every other, whether it's weekend or it's what to that one, eh, I was just imagining how you sit and look at rat, rattle in the chopper. <laughs> just that well, those are sacrifices people will make, oh, and they know very well that those things are not even real. But the real one now, make the small sacrifices, that yoke is easy and his burden is light. So when you look at the glory that I said before you, heaven, and the things that God will do for you, you will endure. He did Jesus. It was the same thing that happened to him. He looked at the glory that was set before him and he endured the cross. It's the same mm -hmm. way we as Christians have to do. We're carrying our crosses and following him, right? So if we look at the glory that he set before us, which is spending eternity with him in heaven, we will endure our crosses and go on. Because these things that we're going through, they are so light compared to the glory that God is going to be to, 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 to reveal us to. to this grace is ever sufficient, you know. Yeah. I mean, yeah. if you think yeah. about it, every situation, every circumstance now, I, I, his grace keeps me going. For example, you know, yeah. like, um, something in the house for how many hours? They, they scope, I told you, I, had, I wanted to go to Crazy this weekend. Yeah. I already made my plan before going to the new house today. I was excited that I was to go shop, shop, come back. This weekend, I'm going to Crazy. What I told you, though, hey, as I stood on that line, he just whispered. I want you back here on Friday. 
I just said, okay, Papa, okay. They think you didn't like the trip to Tribi. You do. But you know the sacrifices that you make and you know where God is going to lead you to. Because, uh, what of I, course, what what I from this he said, I "Remember, I'm diligently speaking. He's diligently speaking. It's priceless. You cannot, you cannot put a price tag to it. You cannot put a price tag to it. And that's the thing about obeying God. God doesn't do things to just make you suffer. He, he it's not like God just wants to suffer you. Like He'll just be doing things to just suffer you. No, God knows why He's doing some of the things He does with you or for you. As you." Just oh. obey, you're going to begin to see the unraveling of some awesome things that he will do in your life. You said go shop. Oh, I'm telling you. Bless me. You have a bless in that village. I oh, am telling you. The chief mother. Uh, oh, my oh. oh my god. Oh my god. They can speak. They can speak oh, blessings oh, in oh, your oh, life. Oh, 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 the way they can speak blessings into your life, eh? Oh, where, where? See, so mommy, the talk, talk so from me on that belly. That's it. It did bless you so you you did literally feel how this thing go through your skin. Hey, where? Tell me about it now. <laughs> when mothers are praying for me, I need to smile. <laughs> Adi, nasa di gum. Hey, I know what it is now. I know what it entails. So I don't even joke about it. So they, they saw it and saw the marvel. They were troubled and hated away. Fear took hold upon them. The pain, as of a woman in travel. Hmm. I've never known how a woman in travel is, but I know say the hot because <laughs> because it's not funny. I know say the hot. I've never experienced, but I know say the hot. <laughs> Because the last time I sat by the maternity and somebody people were supposed to give birth, oh woman of God, now somehow I had the heart. I mean, it it feels like it feels like somehow God transfers the pain a little bit to me just to like so woman go shout so your heart go cut. Go, oh my god. Yeah, just only imagining the pain. Oh, you had the cut, so then imagine you that is experiencing the pain. Oh my god. Say like a woman in travel. So sometimes God God really compares pain to the pain, the labor pain. It's not funny. I, I just know that that particular pain is not funny. So when God compares some things and takes it to that level of that kind of pain, it's serious. So you are better be careful with what you want to do before you get into that level. Le level. <laughs> that breaks the ship of Tashis with an east wind. Say, Na na Jonah so na Jonah cause wala so you say somebody say yeah they even wanted to fight in that bus so me I was only thinking that no na me this who sent me inside this bus no I said the people I know they want to be comedy and everything I was like hey Papa God the way I want to be bus wanted to fight. I was going around to get to get to. I think it was going like bicycle. Ah, he said no. Never do it, Jeff. As I said, I'm not going to just have to do it quickly. I'm sorry. But once you have gone to that baby, I'm sure that even got to the personal card. That's yeah. Stop, stop, stop. That's it. So sorry, I was repentant. Oh, I know. That's the whole word God wants. When He has convicted you, you just go back to Him and say, Lord, I'm sorry. When he convicts you, you just go back to him and say, Lord, I'm sorry. That's just what he wants. He, he knows that there are times that there are times that our frailty, our humaneness will get the best of us. He knows. He, he knows. So he made available opportunities for us to be able to fix that. But now it takes you now to get the realization and fix it. But some people realize that and they don't fix it and then it continues and continues. And at some point you get a sad conscience. And then that thing that used to poke you doesn't poke you anymore. You think it's okay. <clears throat> it's not okay. You've gotten a sad conscience. You, you've gotten a sad conscience. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
and you're thinking you're still connected meanwhile you're disconnected a long time ago and boom things start happening to you and you're wondering how you're wondering why you know um one man of god says be careful you need to know who is in your boat is it jesus or is jonah because when it's jesus there'll be peace and you arrive at destination why is jonah you need for chewing that boat it's our water <laughs> if not, we will capsize. <laughs> it, it's the truth, though. It's the truth. It, it just has, this really has a lot to do with the people you surround yourself with. Though. If Jesus is in your boat, you are secure. If Jesus is not in their boat, you are in trouble. There are some friends in your life that are in your life that are bringing you trouble. You need to let go of them. You don't let, now you go suffer. I say, now you go suffer. God doesn't want you to suffer, but he cannot take away those people. Now you supposed to intentionally take them off. You have to, so you have to intentionally do that. Intentionally get some people to join your space and intentionally take some people off your space. You don't need to be mad at them. You don't need to, to be wild or to be wicked to them. No, you just need to do your thing nicely. You don't owe people some plenty, plenty explanation. Because some people have made up their minds. What are you explain from now to tomorrow? They don't go understand them. So there's some people, you just do your thing, you do your thing, you ask God to tell you. As long as you're in right standing with God, that's what God wants you to do at that time. Do it and leave the rest. Make people then think to their thing. Because in this world, eh, people must talk. You do the right thing or don't uh -uh. talk. You do the wrong thing or don't you. talk. You do the wrong thing or don't talk. Nobody, nobody, nobody wants to go at that way to the village or anything like that. They don't talk to go here. That's even my mother, I just talk. I'm passing. I just talk to my father. I'm going. I don't. I, I, I don't even want someone to ask me questions. I what are you going to do there? Why are you going away? Nothing. I just. Uh, I don't know. Oh, imagine if I'm going to TV. Imagine yes. if I had the story I'm going to TV. I'll be miserable there. See. I'm going to have got in there. Oh, I thank my God. Though. Remember how when I wanted to go to Ghana and everybody was telling me to go to America? So um i started praying the prayer when god had given me my backup scripture um and isaac sowed in a barren land and hundred and have said a hundredfold i knew where god wanted me to go to i was sure so then the next prayer that i started praying is that lord you have the hearts of kings in your hand so wield my mother my father my brothers just wield my family members hearts to where you want my the first person was my dad my dad came and told me that this my mother eh? you don't give up he has learned that God can take you to a place where there's stones and turn the stones to gold. And he can take you, you can take yourself to a place where there's gold. He will turn the gold to stones. So he has sat in quiet. When I'm ready to go to my Ghana, I should tell him, you carry me and go. Simple. My mother's, oh, my mother came and told me that, hmm. So I didn't my mother there, so God feel like a slap person. You know, they, they gain. So if I said, God wanted me to go to Ghana, let me carry myself, I'm going to Ghana. I'm telling you, that's how I, all of them came and started telling me one by one by one by one by one. As they finished saying, all of them were now in agreement. My document come up for Boya, can't be told me for Bamenda. Document that I've applied, 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 I've applied, it didn't come out. My sister, when I applied, it didn't come out. Her own came out, my own did not come out. It finally came and met me in Bamenda from Boya. I don't go Boya, go collect to. They collect our Boya, send them for me. Mm. That's God for you. <laughs> God, God, like, God's ways are past finding. We need to really rely on God. We need to really depend on God. Who you trust, who you believe in, you know. Because some people can talk you off your proposal. Some people can talk you off your purpose. Like, ah, ah, must you go? You have to go and rest. You have overworked. You, it's good now. The person is talking with a good heart. They have a good mind for you. Is rest not an important thing? But you think God doesn't know that you need rest. So you think he wants you now to suffer. Is it not him who says that wish that you prosper and be in good health even as your soul prospers? So he doesn't know you're tired. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to be eh? <laughs> you think he doesn't know you're tired. So now you over Sabina say you over tired. Now your family they over Sabina. No, go to America. How can you be living from a third world country to another third world country? What are you talking about? Like God didn't know that it was a third third world country before you sent me there. The one carry man go put up a wilderness, may walk in wilderness experience. Come on, go, go, go shine for different place. When I do one stopper, say, May Joe go nana for go shine. Ma go for palace, go, go scatter. Ma go crash. I carry myself now go for America, go crash. Wait, they never prepare me. 
that's why some of us we lose it it's not that god doesn't want us to be in the place of purpose but then what in he he wants to take us through the process to to build capacity in us to make sure that we are ready and able to be able to handle whatever he's going to give us in that place and then we're just wanting to rush to the place and so when we rush to the place now they give us the things we crash we crash because we don't have capacity to carry it we talk about Joseph a lot. Why do you not go to police and say, Why did he let him in the street? Can you imagine? Okay. So, you, God will just use the strangest of methods to deal with you and take you to the place where he wants to take you there. And if, if you don't, like I said, my parents were not, they were not bad people. They were looking out for me on a normal basis. Like when you're looking at it, logically speaking, they were looking out for me, right? Like, Every parent will want the child to go to a nice place. Like, you know, people have this whole idea about America. But you could go to America just like if if this man, if Isaac went to Egypt, we know for yeah, no story about planting and having a hundred for, for barren land. That story, no for day. And he would have probably suffered very well in the Egypt, even though his dad went there every single time and came back prospering. As he was in the beginning, it's now ever shall be well that end. Hmm. May God help us so <laughs> that we should so have a personal relationship that it will not be that as it was in the beginning. Because my dad used to just go to America anyhow, anyhow. People had even started talking and like, hey, you claim that this is your daughter, then you're not carrying her to the distance. Every time you're going, you're just going like it's your backyard, you're going and coming back. Me, I'm like, do these people even know what they're talking about? <laughs> The one who sent me to the radio has told me that they come off a day until you don't talk. Even by here blowing trumpet and talking. My sister, I'm telling you, see, eh, that's, see, the things God did with me in Ghana, eh, I said I'll, I'll, someday I'll tell my Ghana story now, I'll tell my Ghana story. See, <clears throat> till date, eh, I'm still in awe of what God did with me in Ghana. Like, I remember that flood that happened. There was a flood that happened June 3rd, 20. 20 was it 2014 or 2015 i would have died if i was in my house i would have been electrocuted <laughs> oh my god see yeah god is god is just too much like the things that happened to me in that place whatever the enemy was fighting shot he didn't see me god would already god me keep on fine as in god knew what he was doing see when god tells you a thing when god is guiding you when god is leading you uh, be rest assured you get to the place where he wants you to be be rest assured god has never failed he has a track record he has a track record it may not look like it it may not feel like it but i can promise you within the flip on it took it was not up to 24 hours it was minutes just said left from oh. being a prisoner to being a governor it was it was one decree. It was not to 24 hours old. I'm sure he slept in prison the night before. Who, if they would have told him that by the next day or that same day, sometime in the afternoon or in the evening, he would be the governor. Even Joseph would surely doubt that one, even though he loved God. You know how some things happen. <sighs> Remember one prophecy that he gave to me? And they said, uh, you you don't know God sharp sharp baby. It's those kinds of things now. When you're like, God, God no play the kind of play. No take play for corner for food, go corner aisle. I feel boss. God no play the kind of play. Like if they would have told Joseph in prison that day that Joseph today you will be the governor. Hey, when they play so no, would he see fair calculate how come up for prison for lie with a lie on top of heads? You talk about come up, you never even first explain come up for prison. You talk about being governor. Which kind of play be that? I bet she wants to relax. Why do you do my work with God and give me my little prison? Quiet, quiet. I seen. 
But that was it. Flip of the finger. We need to trust God. We need we need to have that personal relationship with God. We really need to have that intimacy with God. In the place of intimacy, there will be lots and lots of things that God will do for us. There will be lots and lots of things. It was still God who gave Joseph the interpretation of those dreams. It's because of intimacy. It's because of intimacy. It's God who gave him the ability to interpret dreams. Was his was his job, was his purpose to interpret dreams? No. But it was something that he needed to do to get to the place where God had purposed him to be. I said, I saw something today about, um, was it Isaac or who, where they kept building wells and the people will fight them and remove them from the place. They'll dig a well, they'll fight them and remove them from, they'll dig a well, they'll fight them and remove them from the place. I said, sometimes, eh, those people that are fighting you, eh, they are pushing you in the place of purpose because hey, those places that you have been digging before now, not be the place that God wants to make thee. Because there's a possibility that if they settled in those places that they, <clears throat> they first dug the well at, it will not be where God wants them to be. And when God wants to move, they know funny. So you will just remove them and take them right to the place that he wants them to be before he will allow them to be able to build the world. Your haters will fight you and they will stop. Sometimes they are fighting you in your place of, into your place of destiny. No fear. Why they panic? As long as you're in right standing with God, you don't need to panic. You don't need to fear. Since they, they fought him and fought him and fought him and fought him until he got to a place where they didn't fight him anymore. And then he built the well. And then God prospered them in the place. Sometimes these haters are only pushing you into your place of purpose. They're doing their ministry. That, that people who are ministering and hating you. That people who are ministering. There was supposed to be somebody who killed Jesus. But not be me, oh, God forbid. There are some people whose love will have to wax cold. It's not a but it's not a it might happen, it will happen. We have been seeing it though. A people whose love will wax cold. The Bible has said so it will happen. But it's not gonna be me, God forbid. Father, you help me from now to tomorrow. It cannot be me. It will never be me. Yeah. It can never. So we need to trust God. God. I've come so far. I've come so far. And it works. God it works. works. It works. It works. It works. God is the real deal. He's the real deal. There's no jokes about it. it says, We have thought of thy loving kindness, O God, in the midst of thy temple. According to thy name, O God, so is thy praise unto the ends of the earth. Thy right hand is full of righteousness. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's, it's righteousness. We're imputed righteousness when we accepted Jesus as our personal Lord and Savior. And of course, if we would want to see heaven, if we want to make it in heaven, we have to be in right standing with God. That's how I define righteousness. Righteousness is being in right standing with God. And that's why we need to examine ourselves daily to see whether we're still in the faith, to see whether we're still in right standing with God. i honest, for instance, because we are humans, right? So yeah. people like right and him will never even shake. But you see, even strong right is see the stubborn is not good. God doesn't like it. But the yeah. you see, you just stop for you. Why you for my own? Because the only people will convict you. Yeah. Listen. The only people will convict you. What happened now? I knew. 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 Can you imagine? That's what happens. It works. Like when, see, when you're in right standing with God, eh, there are some things that you would have suffered that you would not suffer. As opposed to when you're not. Oh yeah. There are some things you would not suffer that you would have suffered if you're not connected to God. Right, being in right standing with God eh, doesn't mean you might not make mistakes. That's why God made, uh, he made provisions for when you make mistakes. But the problem is now that some people, when they make that mistake, they cannot come back. Like Judah. Judah made a mistake, he repented, restituted, but the thing, the guilt was so much on him that he ended up killing himself. Peter made the same mistakes and he came back. God has made provision for you to come back. It's left for you to come back. When the Holy Spirit comes, convicts you you have to come back god cannot do that for you you have to do that for yourself oh yeah judas repent 
credited and even restituted. He went and gave the 30 pieces of silver back. But the guilt, the guilt could not, he could not handle the guilt. So don't say, oh, let me better go and test it and see first. No, you might be a Judah. The guilt, you might not be able to stand the guilt and you, you might end up in trouble. We don't want you in trouble. You don't want yourself in trouble either. David was a man after God's heart. He did a lot of craziness. But as soon as he was convicted, as soon as he was reprimanded, as soon as he was called to book, he was like, God, I am sorry. <clears throat> but some of us will begin to want to carry position, will begin to want to carry shoulder with God. Like, as who? <laughs> It would have been finished, finished now. It would have been finished, finished. I'm sure both of them were discussing about it now. What are you talking? Miriam would have been talking with who error now. It's two of them that are discussing the matter. <laughs> but you know, <clears throat> sometimes I understand. Because you know we women, sometimes we can talk. Uh, so probably, after he and Aaron that discourse, he went and reached. Aaron won't talk. Aaron no get chance to talk. So the woman just take over. So God said, <laughs> you go watch your talk. <laughs> so she, you know, she just blasted Moses until uh, Moses I said, oh my God. See, God help us women anyways. Sometimes, because we women were very expressive, it's easier for us to express what we feel. Men have always gotten through this thing of be a man. So it feels like they just bundle up all their emotions, but which helps them sometimes, but it's not so good because <clears throat> when that thing had accumulated and he has to explode, <laughs> it go crazy fast to his woman. So I, like woman that has lost it will do. Like <laughs> you begin to hear this thing that men shoot themselves, shoot their wives, shoot their children. Like you'll be like, no, no, be that one day. Oh. That thing will be that one day. Something they accumulated since, since, since they don't explode. That's how it happens. So I'm like, probably that was Miriam's overdue. Miriam overdue. He talks of the. <laughs> he he talks of the. I mean, like, you know. Oh my God. I know. God is helping us, right? God is helping us. I said, me with an extrovert. Me with a person who likes to talk. Me with a journalist. Like, you know, we, we like to talk. Like, stop. So, when God is telling you, be quiet, eh? You get to see the do you say, ask, you know? <laughs> and you're just like, God, help me. Help me. I know I can't talk now. Just help me. I know. It says, according to thy name, O God, so is thy praise unto the ends of the earth. Thy right hand is full of righteousness. Let Mount Zion rejoice. Let the daughters of Judas be glad because of thy judgment god is a righteous judge and so when he judges in your favor when he judges a matter he always judges in your favor especially if you're right so you should be excited you should be happy says the daughter of judas will be glad when god judges in your favor you definitely will be glad because he will favor you he's the greatest judge ever we even have this some of these judges that are like fake like they are so, they, they just do it for the money. They don't even do it for the cause. They don't do it for the work. They do it for money. I, I don't even want to go there. Because I don't know I want to compromise. Yeah. But because they, I know that God yeah. finished. Yeah. No, there's another one now. That other one got finished. God still did what he did there. This another one now. Anybody. And it's still going that direction. And I'm not bothered because I know that I know. God is good. You know who is backing you? So they do. But God always does right judgments and we rejoice. When he does those judgments, we rejoice. Walk about Zion, go around about her. Tell the toys thereof. Mark ye well her bulk walks. Consider her palaces that ye may tell it to the generation following. See, <laughs> you think God does not want. See, sometimes eh, this is the thing that gives me peace and calms me down. Like, sometimes I might not even really, 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 really so badly need to go to my generations and tell them, this is me telling my generation now on this live stream. Because there are yes, people now. that will watch this after me. There are people that I will not be here. 
if Christ starts to come and I have to go and meet with the Lord and there are some people who are still here, this is me telling my generation. This is me telling the generation after generation. The generations following. This is me talking to them. Yeah. Now. Well, we are also listing things that were told by yeah. the previous generation. Yeah. We, we are. are. We are. We are. We are. From the disciples, even the Moses yeah. and the people, yeah. they were telling telling it down, down, down. That's how we could get it. That's how we got the Bible. They, yeah. they got good down, down, down. God gave them, gave inspiration, inspired these men. They wrote the Bible. It was telling us down, 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 and coming. If not, if it all love us. So, I'm I'm so honored. I'm always very excited. That part actually keeps me going for the most part. Like, oh, you're not just doing this for now. You're doing this for even generations yet unborn if christ starts to come which is a good thing <laughs> they always say the internet never forgets they remind people about the internet never forgets when it's a bad thing but this is how we should be using it as well the internet never forgets so we will not forget these ones that we're doing now so no, no matter oh, yeah. what happens mm -hmm. these things will still be here which is a good thing so while those ones are flying around these ones will also be flying around in the name of jesus and so may the good mm -hmm. lord bless you for releasing <laughs> Uh, for this God is our God forever and ever. He'll be our guide even unto death. That's true. That's true. God guides us even unto the time where we are about to die. Where the time where if the trumpet sounds tomorrow, you know. Because sometimes people only think about death and they feel in their minds like they are entitled to have to die after a long time. If God finishes she's um um late dr mas monroe used to say that i ain't gonna leave this earth god is not gonna call me home when i'm not done when i've not maximized my potential fully when i've not released to the last drop of what he has put in me for the world i will not leave this world that's what he used to say so i started praying that prayer i'm like god i'll not leave this place if you are not finished removing everything that you put in me for the world i need to go no place so he said if he dies we should not be bothered it means that god knows that he has finished his work i cry, cried that Amen. day when i heard that he died i cried oh, oh god i'm like lord why and then he just brought back that message the only three just brought back that message to my mind he said when he's done with his work he's going to leave this place what's he doing here that's when i started what? calming down from his faith is I was I had my I had the message myself where he said he will not leave this world without his wife, and that is wow. how he went. So oh went my back. God! You know, <laughs> on my way back, when I left the place I go to Mando, I stood where people were stopping and stopping cars and no car was. You know, when they car come, they say one petrol car running ahead. So I went down and I said, Father God, I'm not putting you to the test, but you know me and your daughter, and I came to the I was I walk in obedience. So please. Let the car come and stop here and ask me if I'm going to Dwala. I beg you, I'm telling my things and putting that car quietly. That is what happened. Correct. That's the kind of authority we have to walk in because that's the authority God has given us. We need to do that for my things. I have a bag of banana. I have my, 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 my traveling bag. I have this. How can I run and enter into a car? I said, okay, Papa, I will just take myself away from this. Go and stand down there. They let the car come and stop there and ask me if I'm going to do that. Carry my things and put inside. I beg you, Papa. I don't tire. Carry. We, so we, we, have to, we have to walk in that authority. We have to walk in that authority and that power. That's who we are. We underestimate the power that God has given us sometimes. It's like we feel like, no, it can work for this thing, but it cannot work for this thing. When you keep doing those things here eh? that's how it starts when you keep doing those little things and then god is doing it you will be daring now to do big things when it reaches a place you say god i did talk say i need moto i want to inside the moto me one like you will say not be a moto but they'll carry you you won't go for play you won't go because you don't want to step back it will work you don't do a you don't walk you don't do a you don't walk you can come those things. I don't suffer so for carries for this mantle. When I get to mantle, let there be a bag that will just take me to the village quietly. If not, you and I were going to stand here on mantle and sleep there. I beg, Papa, I beg you. I think as I got out of the car, there was a bag man that was just coming from the village to the road. 
So the other ones will ask me where I, I say where I'm going to. They say, ah, that one, that's his village. Ah, they just call him. Ah, ah. He's just telling me time for my things. Say, hey, if I give him two pounds, he will take me alone. When two people is four thousand, he wants to take two pounds for one person. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? That was crazy. <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah. So God is a very good God. God the last thing I want to share, please, before I finish my food, mommy, I beg you, I have to finish eating. I'm tired, hungry, everything. Enjoy. Is that the little things that we do in this life for people, let's not underestimate those things. Mm -hmm. I bought a solar lamp for 10,000 princess and sent it to Mama to the chief the last time because Mama said she wanted a solar lamp and she wanted mm -hmm. 8 March, that's about 8 March, with mass, women's data about. So I went and bought the women's data about already sold and I bought that solar lamp 10,000. The one I bought in this house for 25k, they use it anyhow, anyhow. I bought my mask on the smaller side for 10k. I went there, my mom, the color thing comes with bulbs. Mm -hmm. the, the bulbs in this house, I've never used them. I only take the thing and go next time. The put one that connected the things, one bulb in my mom's room, one bulb in, in her son's room, you know, and one bulb is just there in the carton for when next someone will come to use the middle room because I sleep with my mom, so the middle room is empty. Mm -hmm. And then I put chargers. So people come and pay to charge their phone. What? 200, 500. What princess? I wanted to cry. See? Si. I took pictures now. I'll post the thing soon. Uh, Mama, I said, come on the table to show me how that thing works. So. Can you imagine? I did you. I said, oh, Mama, who was down for two years. People were like, what well, would I do? Carry her to where? Well, 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 I'm telling you, princess. My dad, God told me that the, I'm the one healing people through you now. Just go and be hugging people. Just be loving people. Just be talking to them about me. Hey, about Jesus. Jesus. Just, just yeah. love. Just, just be yourself. Just be yourself. Just love. I I my mama, oh, see, people were telling me that that mama is that you should just stand here. Nobody can stand here. I said, Mama cannot get angry. Mommy said, it's not crazy. <laughs> Mommy, I said, well, oh, you like <laughs> she will not even know the work that God has been doing in her life. She will not even understand. Oh. But just, oh. just that little thing that she said is already an understanding of what God can do. That she believes in God again. It's already an understanding of what God can do. We and the extra that. that God can we say. Pray. We pray. We hear heart and pray on Friday night. And yesterday evening, the three of us prayed again. Everybody said their own thing. The first time I went, my mom was just looking at me like that. God said, give her a healing hug. I hugged her. She did not say nothing to me. Oh. I slept with my mom. Oh. God said, you will sleep with her. I slept with my mom. I told my mom, my mom, even they call you rich. Me, I'm, I'm a child of God. I don't know me riches. So I will sleep with you, mama. Mama, can I sleep with you? She said, yes. Yeah. She did not say nothing to me. Oh. Then the next morning, Saturday morning, because we came back on Saturday morning, mama told me all her problem, or part of her problem. I said, mama, I'll pray for you. Mama, I'm coming. My mama said to cry. I said, no, mama, I'm coming back. I cannot go like that. Second time, we went just that lady too. So I just brought something for mama. I just gave mama. They didn't go to the house. I said, mama, I'm coming back. Then this time around, I went, ah, mama was something else. Mama had changed her dress. Mama, mama was happy with her umbrella. Mama was talking. Mama showed me that everybody in the village. Mama, 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 oh. Hey. My shwang with my picking. <clears throat> when I say I be with you, man, God don't give me better picking. When I go see for the village, <laughs> God know how to. God know how to announce people. Yeah. God knows how to announce people. See, He looks at the people who have a good heart. He looks at the people who He wants to rescue. He looks at the people that when He gives them some things, He knows that they will use it the right way. That's when He gives it to them. He knows that mama has a good heart. But it's just that mama has been so burdened because of the things that people have done to her. So he knows that when he see some when when mama will now see how God will be doing things to her, you know that uh, that I know be God be abandoning you. Now people they be abandoning, it's not God. So he knows that God is still there. Now God don't give different picking you know, up. Final picking. Uh, mama is not even just any kind of thing. Her sister has come because her sister was married in that compound where they was dying. 
So you say, hey, I see Tali, you want her to be working hard time. I did a video. She said she has been working the whole day. She starts tomorrow, she's not going back. That's what she was saying on Friday evening. We were just laughing. Because today, yesterday, no, Mama went back there and walked the day until at about 4 o'clock. I didn't go back home before Mama. We're not in Mama then. You go tell me. You can walk for the way she the was actually going home. So that's also something that got, got to her heart, right? Yes. That people in the village, you know, when they have that thing, they look for her. She comes and walks for the whole village. And then secondly, my mother that of day was that when she has her small things, she will share with everybody. When they when their children come from Dwala or whatever, bring their things, nobody knows her. So to my mama, mama don't worry, continue yeah. to share. God will bless you. And God not send me to you. Well, you Abby, that's how God is. That's how God is, I beg. God is too, too faithful to fail. Wow. So, people, this has been a beautiful time on a chapter a day. Thank you so much, Minister Mark. We're always honored to have you. And we're always excited because mm -hmm. it's so relaxing. It's so, I mean, like, this is how a chapter a day is supposed to be. Like, we're so connected to what the word of God is saying. And it's just a practical reality in our lives. That's how it gets easier for people to be able to, study the word and be into the word and love the word because it's a practical thing it's not like we're talking about just some stories that are in the bible that the, the people of old did no but it's happening to us today in this generation that's how a chapter a day is supposed to be that was the whole idea behind a chapter a day i'm really glad that you're here today and yeah I'll see you again tomorrow by the grace of god <laughs> So guys, that was Minister Mark today. We had a really swell time on here. I'm really, really grateful. I always get to say I love you so very much, but God loves you way, way more. Get to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get all our updates each time we upload a new video or we get to go live. Right now, we're going to be praying that God should help us to be able to obey him, to be able to listen to his instructions. And after we have intimacy with him, whatever he tells us to do, we'll be able to do it without fail. Father, we come before your throne of grace this day, O oh God. Father, we pray that you're going to empower us. You're going to give us the grace. You're going to give us all that it takes, O oh God, to be able to stay in the in the, your presence, O oh God, and actually have intimacy with you and listen to you and be enlightened. And as you give us the instructions, we're going to obey them to the letter. Lord, I pray, O oh God, that you're going to enlighten our understanding, O oh God, so that we're going to be able to hear you. We're going to be able to connect to you in the place of intimacy. And after connecting to you, O oh God, we'll be able to do the things that you've called us to do the things that you've purposed that we should do the things that you desire that we should do oh god father we are forever grateful we can't thank you enough for all these amazing things that you get to do in our lives oh god but father we know that things will only begin to happen and things will only begin to change when we have a personal communion with you when we have this true intimacy with you oh god so father cause a hunger and a yearning in our hearts to want to know you more to want to learn more of you to want to know more about you oh god father cause a hunger and a thirst in our hearts you say blessed are they who do hunger and thirst for righteousness for they shall be filled and obtain mercy lord let that be our practical reality in the mighty name of jesus christ in jesus name we pray amen amen and Amen. Tomorrow is another day. By the grace of God, it's going to be the start of a new week. I am hoping and trusting God that we're going to come back here and have another amazing time on a chapter a day. It's going to be Psalm 49. Get to read ahead of time and let's come back here and have a great time together. So let's hand over the session to God. Let's just appreciate God for giving us an awesome time in his presence. Father, we thank you for having another amazing session going through from start to end we thank you for being there with us we thank you for answering us we thank you for your word we pray that your word is going to be engrafted on the flesh visibles of our hearts so that we're going to live thereby let your word be so imprinted in us that we'll so leave it that we'll believe in the pistols read of men lord that people will see your works in us people will see your word in us literally that they might not even need to read the bible but they'll just read the word from our lives oh god Father, we say thank you. We appreciate you. Take preeminence, but now forever. Let the young men dream dreams and the old men see visions just like you promised in your word. And by your grace, tomorrow we'll get up strong and healthy, kicking to start up with the rest of the week's activities and the day's activities by your grace and power. We are forever grateful for in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen.
Until tomorrow, guys. Ciao, ciao. Mwah. Yeah.